somewhere else. She shoots. Must be Vanika. <laughs> My name is Lincoln Clay, motherfucker. Nigga, Lincoln Clay? These things mean the same thing. Fitter from Cuba, right? Well, Sal spent a couple of months trying to print the money himself, but none of it was worth a damn. The color was wrong, printing was cockeyed, you name it. He needed someone who knew what the fuck they were doing. So he used his connections and found a man named Alvarez. And this Alvarez was also counterfeiting money for Castro. Most of our enemies counterfeit American money. Hell, some of our allies do too. 
Sorry, he's gone. What do you mean, he's gone? All you had to do is drive down to the goddamn lighthouse and pick him up. It's not my fault Alvarez is running all over the goddamn place. I wanted to lock his ass up, but you wouldn't hear of it. The last thing we need is Zaraga finding out that we treated his nephew like dog shit. You understand? Then Lincoln Clay comes in shooting the shit out of it. Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay. I'm so sick and fucking tired of hearing about this cocksucker. He's just one man. A fucking nigga. We're skating a thin line here, Tommy. You understand? This thing falls apart. We fucked all of us. So, what the fuck would you do? What the fuck would I do? Listen here, this ain't rocket science. If that fucking nigga got to Alvarez, it means he knows about the plate. He's gonna come after him, you understand? Get your ass down to that motherfucking gym and protect them. Yeah, sure. I'm on it. This shit ends right here, right now. No more fuck-ups. According to these reports, Tommy Marcano had the money press in a boxing gym he operated. Tommy knew Lincoln was coming for the plates, but he felt he had to keep up appearances. The second he started canceling fights and shutting the place down was the second people started thinking he was out of his league. He wasn't about to allow that to happen. How did Lincoln Clay gain access to the gym? He had me track down a man named Alcee Bennett. Alcee was a small-time hustler that worked for Sammy until he double-crossed him and was kicked out of the hollow. After that, he scratched out a living recruiting fighters for Tommy's jungle fights. <laughs> if he vouched for Lincoln at the door, Lincoln could get in without a big ruckus. Alcee's by the briar patch, not far from here. I'll stop by and say hello, see how he's getting along. <laughs> Have fun. Lincoln Clay. Surprised to see me, Alcee? Hmm. I heard about Sammy and Ellis. Tough break. I guess you made it out okay. Speak of them once more, and I'll slice you from here to asshole. Let's go. We're taking a drive. Assuming I don't have a choice here. What do you think? Lead the way. Oh, I'm sorry. Pardon me. Well, you know I stayed away. I ain't stepped foot in the hollow since November of 62. Almost six years. I know. Can you at least tell me where we're going? The Acadia. It's where Tommy Marcano holds his jungle fights, right? It is. And you've been recruiting black fighters for him? I have. Good. Because I want in. What? Why? I wanted you to know I'd have told you. If I'm sticking my ass out like that, I need to know why. Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think you wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? Look, I paid for that a hundred times over. Six years banished from the only place I ever called home. Christ. I couldn't even go see my mama on her deathbed. You made your choice. And now it's time to make another one. And I do this. You get a clean slate. Come and go through the hollow as you please. Fuck. Okay. I hear you here now. Tommy needs you in person. That true? He likes the size of the winners. See if there's someone he wants to bring on regular. Or if they're just a one-time deal. Where's this happening? Usually up there in his office. One of his guys will meet you in the locker room after the fight. He'll take you to Tommy. All right. Fighters don't take the front entrance. We going in through the side door.
Hold up, Alcee. Who the fuck's this? This? This is Jack Nap Johnson. What's he here for? The fuck you mean, what he here for? We here to fight, boy. Gotta search him. No weapons allowed. Do what you gotta do. Watch where you put your hands, motherfucker. Save it for the ring, dipshit. Locker rooms down here on the east. Hang back, boys. Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump him in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. How you, Neville? Where you at, out, see? All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give them your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, LC? New guy. Man, new guy looks tough, but my money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, LC. What's that? All you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other? <laughs> nah, we'll beat the fuck out of anyone. <laughs> Even you. <laughs> nah, that's rich, LC. You a funny man. So what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again, it's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name, then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fighting niggas. Go on, they're waiting on you. And the jungle fight continues. The next challenge you can face, Nick Bumbo, comes in at over six feet tall, weighing approximately 220 pounds. This is Jack Knight Johnson. Y'all can kiss my black ass.
You know why they call him Grave Digger. Because he buries motherfuckers? Well, yeah. So how do I beat him? You hit him really, really hard. really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. Lucky me. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. I'll make some vegetable oil in. Makes the gasoline thick. Stick it. We just gonna let it soak in a little bit. <laughs> Work his way into every nook and cranny. <laughs> that way when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. <laughs> You are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they bump. <laughs> 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 Big mistake, asshole. Get your asshole, forget about me. I'm fucking stuck. <laughs> the fuck it out. <laughs> that way you know Sal wanted me to go to law school work for some big company maybe run for office do something decent with your goddamn life you understand you should have listened to him it's in the blood you know yeah you are who you are no point in arguing with yourself about it Fuck
keeps moving. plates that Sal Marcano stole from the Federal Reserve. I don't recall. Lagan once told me he couldn't tell any other cheat. That the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. But I was just lying to myself. Look at how we treat each other. 
Passion is a sign of weakness. But greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or a Bobby Kennedy. But there always gonna be another Sal Marcano. Another Sammy Robinson. Another Lincoln Clay. We are cruel and wicked people. Is it over? There's no one left to stand in our way. We run this city now. I heard from my boys before I came over here, and they locked down this turf without any trouble. Well, good whichever direction you go here, but we're even better if you make it official and let me call the shots there. Everybody's got their play, brother. But the truth is that I'm the one you called on to run the last territory. So all that racket shit aside, you know I can handle the day-to-day -day better than anybody else here. Didn't even know you were working that part of the city, lad. Hope you had fun. You got no idea how long I've been dreaming of this moment, Lincoln. This... Calling this one for Scaletta. Thanks, kid. Spent most of my life getting fucked by one asshole or another. And what we got going here is a real future. Ain't no one fucking with us anytime soon. Kinda thought I'd be gator shit by now. So anything shy of that, and I'm good. Fuck. Fuck. You know how long I've been waiting for someone to stand up and be a man of his word? And in all my fucking days, you, Lincoln Clay, are the first motherfucker to do it. Thank you. You've done a hell of a job, Lincoln. Couldn't have done a better job myself. Probably. Holy Christ! How the fuck did we make it through this shite in one piece? I thought for a certain Scaletta would have his throat slit by now. You did a bang-up job here, lad. A goddamn dream come true. Can't wait to see where we go from here. I, I have way figured Lincoln will have killed us all by now. What we done here? Taking the city away from Marcana and doing it without killing each other? We gotta be proud of that. I'll admit it. I had my doubts, but no more. You came through just as you promised, and I'm lucky to be a part of it. We're living proof that the ways of Marcano, the lying, the backstabbing, the cheating, don't need to run in that direction. Those ways are as dead as he is. Thank <laughs> you. 